Normally we attach our parachutes like this to the side of the rocket near the center of gravity. This allows the rocket to come down sideways, increasing the drag and reducing the need for a larger parachute. While we can get reasonably stable video on the way up, on the way down it can be a bit wobbly as the rocket can easily roll around its axis with the one attachment point. To significantly reduce this wobble, we can attach a simple lightweight harness to the parachute shock cord. It provides two additional attachment points either side of the rocket, here and here. The parachute is packed as normal. The harness doesn't completely eliminate the wobble, but reduces it enough to get much better video on the way down. Next we compared two flights of the same rocket, both with the same volume of water and both with 2% bubble bath solution. The rocket on the left has been shaken up vigorously to form foam before being placed on the launch pad and launched shortly afterwards. The rocket on the right was not shaken up and was left sitting on the pad for about 15 minutes where most of the foam had collapsed back into the water. Both rockets were launched at the same pressure of 120 psi. You can see the longer foam trail with the dense foam mix and the almost normal water and air phase flight of the collapsed foam. The rocket on the left achieved an altitude of 453 feet and the one on the right 370 feet, which is close to the, what the simulators predict for normal water. This shows us that for improved performance, it is important for the foam to be exiting the nozzle rather than just the liquid solution. Lastly, we shot some of the earlier flights with a pan cam, but this time we fitted the GoPro camera set at 240 frames per second.